And with this technology, we can uh, monitor how electrical signals are generated, but also are traveling in the plant and allows us to monitor signal from all different locations in the plant at the same time. We can see where they are generated and where the signals are going. Life on Earth depends on plants. They are the primary source of food while they capture carbon dioxide and release oxygen into our atmosphere. But as climate change becomes more and more noticeable, we need to find ways to keep plants alive. Plants are sessile organisms. That means that they cannot move. So they need to adapt to their growth environment. And because of climate change, plants are, are subjected to different types of stresses. And this affects both their growth, but also their productivity. Uh, and at the same time, we have a growing population. The land that is available for agriculture is also decreasing. Uh, so we need to find ways to have plants that are more tolerant to various types of stress. To learn more about how plants react to stress, Eleni Stavrinido and her research team have developed bioelectronic technologies, which enables plants to communicate with us. So uh, with bioelectronic technologies, what we want to do is to communicate with plants in a way that we can read out the, the plant processes, but also to give us a way to influence these processes. So we need to understand what is happening in the plant and then find ways to influence uh, what is happening. Attaching electrode arrays to the plant enables you to read the electrical signals they carry, a technique that's been around for some time and is widely applied in animal studies, but not in plants. So, so far people have used uh, only single electrodes to record the signals from plants. So that means that you record the signal only from one specific location. However, we developed a multi-electrode array. So these are devices that have many electrodes in different locations. And this allows you to record the signal at the same time. So in this way, you can see where the signal is generated and where it's traveling in the plant. And then by correlating this with other functions in the plant, you can understand what, what does this signal do. Look at this. Uh, this is a, a multi-electrode array, and we put this device on the plants and allows us to monitor uh, the electrical signals in the plant. So this is a carnivorous plant, and this uh, plant um, captures its prey by closing the trap. Uh, but the trap closes when you trigger the hairs that are inside in the trap. And then when you trigger the hair twice, the trap is closing. So with our electrodes, we can monitor the signal that is generated when we trigger the hair, but also how it propagates across the trap. The next step is to apply this technology in other plant species and study how electrical signals are correlated, not only with fast movement, but also with stress responses. The group is also interested in finding ways to influence the plant with electrical signals in order to change its behavior and its reaction to stress. So we are also developing uh, some growth scaffolds where the plants uh, can grow, that we can uh, apply electrical stimulus to the plant. Uh, and we have seen that this uh, enhances the growth of the plant. We don't know exactly what is happening yet, um, but this is a very interesting uh, phenomenon because uh, maybe in the future it would allow us to use electrical stimulation to make the plants grow uh, more efficiently. So here is our lab, and it's where we bring the bioelectronic devices and interface them with plants. So with these devices, we are able to deliver very locally uh, various biomolecules. Uh, and this particular experiment that we are doing now, we can uh, deliver a hormone that makes the pores of the leaves to close. And in this way, uh, the plant is saving uh, water, and it can give us information about the drought responses of the plant. Uh, so we monitor how these pores are closing. However, we can also monitor the overall temperature changes of the plant uh, and then correlate them also with how open or how close uh, the pores are. 
So we hope that with this technology, we can bring more information that then can be combined with different other studies, particularly uh, genetic studies in the plant, in order to reveal exactly the mechanism of what is happening in the plant. I think it will be amazing if with our research we can contribute even in a small way uh, to this big problem of climate change and particularly to cover the food demands of our planet.